Bearded dragons are constantly obese in captivity. Their pet owners give them a little bit too much love and sometimes we fail to see when our bearded dragons get a little bit chunky. They kind of suffer from the same curse as like Labradors. People are so used to seeing like really chunky Labradors that when they see a really healthy, lean working lab, they're like, oh my God, they're starving because it, they're so unnatural to them because they don't see it very often. And I think the same happens with bearded dragons. People are so used to seeing really fat bearded dragons in captivity that when we see a healthy lean bearded dragon, people are like, you're not feeding it enough. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for. The leading bearded dragon expert in the world, Beardy Vet, spent years studying bearded dragons in the wild. And luckily for us, he took lots of weights of bearded dragons too. So the average weight of a female bearded dragon in the wild was 254 grams. Whilst the average weight of a male bearded dragon was 372 grams. The big thing to take note of here is that Beardy Vet says that the bearded dragons in the wild are so much bigger than our captive pets. They're longer, bigger, bigger animals, and they're super lean too. So our captive bearded dragons are not only shorter and smaller, but when they come into vet practice to see him, they're coming in heavier than wild bearded dragons who are bigger because it's all fat. As a general rule, you don't want your bearded dragon to be anywhere between 10 to 15% heavier than the weights of wild bearded dragons. So ideally that's a female bearded dragon, an adult bearded dragon that's no more than around 290 grams, and then a male that's no more than 430 grams using 15%. But that isn't all, we actually managed to get Beardy Vet on a Zoom call with us for him to visually look at our bearded dragons and assess their body condition. Roll the clip. Okay, so out of five, I would say that this dragon here is about oh, upside down. Um, I would say it's almost smack bang on perfect. So use this image of my bearded dragon described as near perfect and the weights that are described in this video as your north star. Then what you should do is at least weigh your bearded dragon once weekly and track their weight. And to get a healthy weight, you need to make sure you're feeding the right foods on the right schedule. And most importantly, in the right amounts, which everyone gets wrong here. And to do that, you need to watch my adult bearded dragon feeding guide. We also have a baby bearded dragon feeding guide. So no matter the age of your dragon, we've got you covered on this channel. Other than that, I'll see you in another video.